guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be showing you guys some ColourPop products that I just purchased. This is the Peach Collection that they just came out with. It is a nine pan palette. You know, they've been making like a million of these, but I just purchased this one. And so I wanted to use it for the first time with you guys. And I do give you guys my review at the end, but this is what I have on my eyes today. And then I also picked up three blushes and I am obsessed, obsessed with their blushes. I have about six large empty palettes that are just filled with ColourPop blushes and I'm actually going to be ordering another empty palette so I can put these in there as well. I just find it so much more helpful just because it's kind of a pain in the butt to open each one of these and be like, okay, which one do I want to use today? But if you have like a large empty pan that you can put these in, it makes it so much more easier just to like look at them, pick one out, and you're only opening like one or two different palettes then. Well, I have six of them, so it's still like a struggle, but I'd rather open like six different large palettes than like 50 of these. So I highly recommend to get the large palettes and to get the blushes because I think the blushes are amazing. But yeah, I have my face completed so I'm not showing you anything that has to do with the face. I'm only applying the eyeshadow and one of these blushes just because I didn't want the video to be too long and I just did a tutorial. So I just wanted to show you guys my blush and my eyes but I love how the look turned out so hopefully you guys enjoy it as well. But if you're interested in seeing a review over these products and of course just keep watching okay so the palette I'm gonna be using is the baby got peach palette from Colourpop I have never used this palette before but it looks so beautiful of course I had to wear like peachy tones today to match this palette but yeah let's get right into this peach palette the first shade I'm gonna go into is darling it's kind of just a light tanny peach shade so I'm gonna be using that as my transition shade Ooh, that's actually really pigmented I didn't think it'd be that pigmented because it looks pretty light in the pan, but it's actually a really good transition shade. Is that better? You guys might be able to see my eyes now. This is such a pretty transition shade. I really didn't think it would be this pigmented, but I am all for that. I'm loving all the 9 pan palettes that ColourPop is coming out with. I'm a collector of them, so I have every single one so far. I know they come out with one like every single week, but so far the last one I know is the peach one, I believe. I also have the Strawberry Shake one, which is so pretty, and I actually used that one already. Now I want to go into a little bit more of a peachy shade. This is called Center Fold, and it's a very middle shade. It looks pretty neon, but I feel like it'll really match my shirt quite well. So I'm putting that a little bit lower on my eyelid, not bringing it as high as the first shade. Ooh, I really like this. It like matches my shirt perfect. I really think I want to do a halo eye today. So I'm going to be taking this shade, which I love the name to this because I always say it's Coker. I'm putting this on my lid on the inner half and outer half of my lid. It is kind of like a light tangerine shade. And I'm just connecting that in my crease. I haven't did a halo eye in forever. So I'm so excited. This is why I seriously love YouTube because it gets me outside my comfort zone. It gets me creative because the whole time I was on my break, I pretty much did the exact same eye makeup look every single day. But now that I am back to YouTube, I just really want to do creative looks for you guys. I'm going back into center fold and I'm gonna be just blending out the edges because I really want this pinky shade to show. I am like obsessed with this color. All right, so now I think I'm gonna go into get even 
is a satin peachy shade. I'm going to wet my brush because this is what I'm going to be putting on the very center of my eyelids. That's pretty pigmented as long as you wet it. I don't know how it is dry, but I literally always wet my eyeshadows. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Yes, honey. Now to make it even more fun, I'm going to be using this shade right here, and it's called Hungry Ghost. And it's actually it's supposed to be not intended for use in the immediate eye area, but, you know, I'm a rebel, so I'm going to use it around my eye because it's an eyeshadow palette. So I'm going to use it around my eyes. You should not put it in the palette if it's not supposed to go around your eyes because I would not put a glitter on my face. So I'm just going to put it right over the top. But you don't have to do this, okay? I just want to try it out for myself and to show you guys how it looks. But you guys do not have to do this part at home. Wow, that is so pretty. Kind of like in the palette, it just looks like straight up white. But when I applied it to the middle of my lid, it looks like a goldeny white. It is so pretty. I love that. Alright, now I'm going to take... Oh, crrr, and put that all along my lower lash line. Then for my inner corner highlight and my brow bone, I'm going to be using Ready or Yacht. That's so cute. You guys see it's like a peach champagne. Alright, so we are done with the eyes and I am living for this look. Oh my gosh. It's just like so different for me lately because I've been doing literally like almost the same looks every single day. So I love that I got outside my comfort zone. But now I'm going to go on to mascara. And I'm going to be using the ColourPop BFF Volumizing Mascara in the shade Lover's Coral. And I'm going to... Put this on my lashes I guess and we'll see how it turns out. Alright, I finally got my mascara on. I think they kind of advertised this mascara to go with this palette. That's why I decided to use it today. So I used it on my top and bottom lashes and honestly I don't know how I feel about it. And I only say that because I had to put on like five layers of this color before I could actually see it on my lashes. So I had to like put a coat on, wait for it to dry, put another coat on, wait for it to dry, and yada yada. So this is like not my favorite, but I wanted to try it out, see how it would look with this peachy eye look because this is like coral is kind of like on the peachier family. So I decided to use that and it's okay. It looks kind of cool once you get it built up, but that is the mascara. Alright, so my camera did overheat, so I just applied my lip product, and I used the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Sunny Side. I decided to use this because it is like a peachy nude brown, so I thought it would pair perfectly with my eye makeup look today. And last but not least, I have three blushes to share with you guys, and these are all from the Peach Collection. The first one is called Fresh in Peachy, and this is what that one looks like. I really, really enjoy their blushes. I'm actually going to order another large empty palette from ColourPop because I put all these blushes in just a large palette so I don't have to like go into each one and see what color they are. And the next one is called Frisky Business. And this is more of a peachy nude, but it's still really pretty. I don't really know how well you can see these. I don't know if my lights are like drowning out the color. These are more neutral, like everyday blushes. And the last one is Perk Up. It's a very, very nude blush to me. I did swatch it and it does look different, like swatched than it does in pan. But it looks almost like a bronzer, but it does swatch like peachier. So it's actually pretty cool. But I'm going to go into this one, it's called Fresh and Peachy, and apply this to my cheeks. They aren't the most pigmented blushes, but I really don't mind that because I like building up my blushes to just get the intensity that I want. Sometimes 
I want kind of a lighter flush and sometimes I like a lot more blush. But I love their blushes. I think they are amazeballs. All right guys, so just to kind of recap over everything, these are the three blushes and I really like them. The one I used on my face today just meshed all the peachiness together. I really, really enjoy the ColourPop blushes. I think they are totally worth the money. I think they're like seven or eight dollars, but ColourPop always has sales and they have discount codes, so look for those, but totally worth it. Then for the palette, this is actually a really beautiful palette. I really like it. I kind of wish they had a little bit darker shade in this palette because this one in half baked is the darkest shade and I just don't think that's dark enough. When you just want to do like an everyday look, you like the inner corners to be lighter and then the outer corners to be a little bit more smoky and darker. But I don't know, I haven't used this shade yet so I can't specifically tell you guys if it's actually dark on the lid or not. That was my problem with the ColourPop Uh Huh Honey palette because the darkest shade was not dark at all. So that's kind of like a con to these palettes because I feel like they only put like light shades in them. But it's still a really good palette and it's only $12. It's still worth it to me. Now for this mascara, mm, I don't know. I really, really enjoy their black mascara and I got the brown mascara but I haven't used it yet. But this mascara, it just takes a lot of building. Like it took five layers, guys. It took forever to like get pigment on my lashes. So I feel like this is not worth it in this color, but the black is very good. So I would highly recommend the black. And then just my lip product. I mean, this is not part of the collection, but you guys know how obsessed I am with the ultra matte lips. So of course, a course. I always recommend these lip products. But that completes this video, guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed it and kind of like this small review over the products that I just purchased. And yeah, I'm excited to use them in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to give me a thumbs up, hit that notification bell, and subscribe for me down below. And I will see you guys on my next video.